detect and, uh, detection equipment at ports and transit sites in order to combat nuclear smuggling. And all of this builds on our previous efforts. Uh, Twelve countries and two dozen nuclear facilities around the world have now rid themselves entirely of highly enriched uranium and plutonium. Dozens of nations have boosted security at their nuclear storage sites or built their own counter-smuggling teams or created new centers to improve nuclear security and training. Uh, the International Atomic Energy Agency, or the IAEA, uh, is now stronger, and more countries have ratified the treaties and international partnerships at the heart of our efforts. So we've seen a fundamental shift in our approach to nuclear security. Uh, but as Mark indicated, we still have a lot more work to do to fulfill, to remove all its highly enriched uranium from its nuclear fuel sites. Uh, had that not happened, those dangerous nuclear materials would still be there now. And the difficult situation we're dealing with in Ukraine today would involve yet another level of concern. So it's a vivid reminder that the more of this material we can secure, the safer all of our countries will be.